hey guys welcome to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be embroidering on a tote bag i bought these tote bags from michael's a while ago they're the imagine 8 or image 8 tote bags these were about 99 cents so i'm going to be embroidering on this white one that i purchased and i'm embroidering on my se 1900 is a 5x7 machine so first i'm going to heat press this so i can find the center of the tote bag and then i'm gonna show you guys how i'm hooping my bag all right guys so i'm over at the heat press and i have the bag so first i flipped it inside out and i'm just going to press it flat like this for the first press Then I'm just trying to basically find the center. So this is a lot of wrinkle, but I'm just trying to find the center in the bag and make a crease. All right, so cool. I got my crease in the bag and this is the center. All right guys, so now that I already heat pressed the bag and found where the center is, I'm just going to take my hoop. And this is a five by seven hoop for the SE 1900. And I gotta find the middle of where this, where the middle of the hoop is. So this came with the machine and it came with the hoop. So I'm just gonna use this and then use an invisible marker and just dot it out where the middle is. So basically, I'm the way I'm doing this tote bag, I'm just hooping it like how I would just like hoop a t-shirt. I'm just going to follow like that same type of method of floating the bag onto the hoop. So I'm going to spray it with this temporary basin adhesive. So I got this from Walmart. It's kind of like um, 505 spray, but it's a little bit cheaper. So if you want to try this out, it's spray and bind. And then I'm just gonna place the bag where I think it should go. I never did this before, so be patient. We shall see how it works out. And I'm just flattening the bag down in the inside to make sure that it's on my stabilizer and it's flight. If I didn't tell you guys what kind of stabilizer I'm using, it's um, Tearaway. And I bought that from Joann's. I already, um, I already uploaded my design to my embroidery machine. So all I gotta do is find it. All right, so it says that the first color that we need is black. So I'm going to just hoop my machine. And guys, I have, well, not hoop my machine. I'm going to thread my machine. And I got a video on threading the SE1900. If you're interested in it, you can just go to my page. Or I'll just, you know, put it on the thing. Put it on the top of the screen so you can click on it. it says that this design is really fast so it's only nine minutes so i'm putting this onto the machine right now And I got this design from Creative Fabrica, so I hope it stitches out really well. And cute, hopefully. All right, so we're starting off with the black thread first.
All right guys, so far so good. Like I'm actually surprised that it was actually this easy so far. And it's not really bad. I guess because the tote bag is so big, it has a lot of room to go all over on the machine. And you don't really feel like that you can make a lot of mistakes because you got a lot of room and you can move the tote bag around. Or if not, just clip it down on the sides. It does have a lot of jump stitches, but I'll cut them in a minute. This is it so far. Since this is tear away, I'm just gonna tear it right off. And I'm just gonna cut these jump stitches first. These are not the correct scissors to cut jump stitches with, so don't pay me no mind. Supposed to cut with smaller scissors, but I'm trying to rush. I don't even know what I'm rushing for though, just to see the design I guess. Whatever. That's cute. So this is definitely something I will wear. Especially like to go drop your orders off at the post office when you have too many poly mailers and you can just put them in your little bag. Super cute. It really sits out perfect. Only thing different that I would do next time is probably just make the design a little bit bigger. But other than that, like, this did really good. I love it. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video and subscribe and like this video if you found any value in this content peace out